A local firm has been selected to plan out the structural future of the Hilliard Technical Center. The St. Joseph Board of Education has approved the selection of Creel, Clark and Seaford architects and engineers. The scope and cost of the project has yet to be determined, but an initial target expansion of 15,000 square feet has been discussed. Board President David Foster says the further investment in technical education appeals to him on a personal level. I'm a trade school guy, so uh, computer-aided drafting was my trade. And I went for two years and worked for the field for a while. And that still helps me today uh, in real estate. So I'm excited to see kids that aren't going to college have an opportunity. Aside from the SJSD, the Tech Center also partners with more than a dozen school agencies to accept students for technical studies. Selection is competitive and sets students up for careers in welding and machinery. A 15,000 square foot expansion is envisioned, but that could grow. The 4th of July is one week away, and here in St. Joseph, the Parks and Recreation Department is preparing for the fireworks celebration. This year's fireworks show has changed locations due to construction and will be taking place at the North Shops on the Belt Highway. In years past, it's been held at the Remington Nature Center. The hope is that the change in location will bring a boost in attendance. It's going to be a little bit easier for people to get to, and we think it also will be pretty easy for people to leave. There's a lot of different exit plans that people can leave with, um, but we're hoping people will go up, they'll do a little bit of shopping, they might go out to eat somewhere, and then they'll stay for the fireworks. More information regarding the fireworks show next Monday is available in a story online at newspressnow.com. A mother is credited with saving her sons and other classmates during the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas last month. She says she tried to run into the building as soon as she heard kids screaming, but someone handcuffed her. Chelsea Torres reports. They take me off the cuff. I see his arm, like, just give me a little gateway. Some are little, so a little gateway where I could just run. Without a doubt in her mind, Angelina Gomez knew she would have to save her children herself. She jumped a fence, began banging on a nearby door where her oldest son's teacher saw her. Like, you already have a gateway out, so just might as well come out. Like, if I'm going to run out with him, y'all just come on, too. Gomez safely gets her oldest son and some of his classmates out, then goes back for her youngest son, running around the school, desperately searching for his classroom. At this moment, I'm jiggling the handle and I'm going pretty nuts, like trying to get the door open and it's not going to open. So I stand back and the cops are already on me and they're like, ma'am, calm down. Like, she tells them to evacuate the school or she won't move. Immediately, they start evacuating that classroom and my son runs out to me. He's like, mom, mom. Just remember when my son saw my other son, he hu one hugged the other one and